All right, everyone, hello. In this series, we're gonna be talking about the food shortage that we are going through and experiencing. And I actually went through, and um, you're gonna see me go into two different stores, but the same chain, okay? So, um, without further ado, cue the intro. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> plant-based homestead prepper where we made prepping fun all right so we're walking around we're just gonna see oh look at here uh, oranges and some grapefruits awesome oh you guys can't see uh -huh. so got some oranges grapefruits limes lemons bag of grapefruits these are the red ones that we love Okay, so a dollar each, basically. Um, have you noticed that you guys have not been getting a certain fruit or vegetable in? Anything different? There's always something. What about pizza? What? Pizza. Frozen pizza. Frozen pizza? Uh -huh. All the way at the end. Not the very last aisle, but the second to last aisle. All the way on the other side, sir. Yes, sir. You're welcome, sir. Yes. So you see, it's always something that doesn't get shipped in. May I ask why you're asking? Oh, I'm just doing a documentary. That's all. I'm producing. It depends on what our warehouse can get from the farmers and whether there's a bad crop and like right. there's just a gap. Okay. But not consistently. Gotcha. Not unless there's like a national recall, like at the beginning of the year with Romaine. Oh that, yeah, I do that, remember that. that yeah. Dried up. Yeah. How long? How long that last? About two months, maybe. For us, no. Other places, ours was coming from. I think it was Arizona that was contaminated. Ours oh, okay. was coming from another area. Okay. So we dried up for like maybe four or five days, and oh, got, it's not that long. They got part of theirs from there and part of theirs from another place. Okay. So it, we were able to shift to the other. It was spotty because okay. they had a stretch of fence. Cool. All right, cool. All right, thank you. You're Appreciate right, it. Sir. All right, so tomatoes, um, got corn, um, but it's not a lot in here, guys. It's really not a lot. It's like, look, four little packs of corn, some little squash, a few tomatoes. But this is more of a discount, little discount store too. So, um, but you know, I had forgot about the uh, the romaine uh, scare at the first of the year when they were talking about it had E. coli or something. I don't know. This is interesting. So they do have avocados here. All right. I've never tried these. So if anybody has tried these green skin avocados, let me know what they're like. Um, of course, you know, just normal. Avocados. So let's go to another area and see. I'd always like to show you guys the morgue. <laughs> so it's not a lot of turkey, brown chuck, not a lot of beef. Okay. And they're trying to position this stuff to the point where, you know, you can see the gaps. Okay, chicken, not a lot. And of course, pork, yuck, yuck. Okay, so I decided to just come down the frozen section and look how spotty the fruits are. Okay, frozen fruits. Uh, oh, here's my section. And it's looking kind of weak today. All right, when it's starting gardens, looking kind of weak. Corn is an awesome brand, y'all. You should try it. Bam waffles <laughs> or whatever should be there it's not there and let's look at the frozen section okay they're trying to trick us all right empty empty and, and, and the shelving here is not huge anyway okay the pizza section okay it's looking kind of kind of bare in certain areas all right so overall walking out 
uh, it's probably it's about average. You know, this the, the smaller shells <clears throat> are not even full, and it's rather, to be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed. And I asked, you know, you guys heard me talk to one of the workers in there. And, you know, I just asked her some general questions. She got all, you know, I don't know if she got defensive or not, but she's like, why, may I ask you why you're asking? Yeah, I'm asking because I want to know how much food we got. <laughs> but, um, you know, anytime I go in these places, I always try to be very cordial. Because, of course, I don't want to get thrown out. And, but to tell you guys the truth, that was sad. Okay. To be honest with you, that was kind of sad. I was, I was happy and impressed that they had avocados. Because they've been, you know, they've been hit or miss here, here and there. But like I said, that is the, there's a, a food lion that I pass from time to time. I'm rarely in this area. The only reason I'm over here because I, 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 I'm filling in for a territory that where one of our, uh, my coworkers just quit. So I'm over here and I really had to go in there and use the bathroom. That's the really only reason I stopped. I said, well, since I got to go use the restroom, why don't I just go in here and do a little shopping? Let's see what we have. So, catch you guys on the next video. All right, so we're walking into another one of these. This is on the other side of town. We're actually in a whole different city. Okay, as soon as you walk in, nice little display of, um, of veggies. I expect this store to have even less than the previous store. I just expect that. Hey, look at the grapes. Looking kind of, kind of grim. Oranges, plums. But they do have grapefruits. Uh oh, grapefruits. And oranges. Okay. More grapes. All right. Corn. Two for a dollar. And veggie display looks pretty okay. Carrots. It's not bad. Five pound of carrots for three bucks. I think I may go to all these later on and see what they have as far as carrots. All right, let's check out the morgue. Okay. Empty back there. Okay, here's some bare spaces in the morgue. Old stuff. You know, I got I got this uh, documentary that I found about seafood and fish. I need to post that because they talk about how a lot of stuff that you think you're eating is not what you're actually are eating. Uh, look a little bear over here. Let's see this right here. Chicken wings. See, somebody's gonna get alarmed about that okay there you go another empty shelf empty shelf empty shelf those supposed to be burgers okay here for your hot dog eaters empty space empty space empty space uh, okay empty space all right look at this case it's almost all the way empty Okay, there your chicken. Chicken is starting to go. Okay, and that's another, another little area where the waffles were. All right in that area. Okay. Potatoes. Got all that space in the back back there. Space, 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 space. You know, maybe I'm catching them at, you know, where they haven't restocked some more space. All right, so we are walking out. Sorry for the hand, y'all. We're walking out. One thing I can give them that I did like, they had like every register was open. It had a person at the register ready to check people out. 
and they do not have any self checkout so that is one thing I do like about this company okay I don't know if you can see it in the background but um, all that self checkout stuff I try my best not to use that because you know by doing that you're taking a job away from somebody that could be working so just the way I see things uh, on a scale from one to five five being the best and one being the worst I would give this store this particular store uh, probably a three three and a half I mean it was it was stocked pretty well and if, if I need to come in there and get some things I'd be able to get them but I also saw a lot of empty space okay so the food shortage continues see y'all on the next one Subscribe to our channel. Bye. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe to our channel. Say it again. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>